Hey guys, this is Tearless here with another Warlords of Draenor beta video. I'm going to be looking into Feral Druids, the major changes to Feral Druids in Warlords of Draenor. I'm going to be looking at their abilities, their glyphs, their new Draenor perks, and their talents. So getting straight into it, their main changes to the Feral Druids are twofold. They have some abilities pruned out, and then they had some quality of life changes. They lost Symbiosis as an ability. Symbiosis was button bloat for the entire game. So Blizzard, which was trying to cut down a button bloat, targeted Symbiosis almost first to get it out of the game. It was a fun ability, but it just it added way too much bloat to the entire game. The travel forms have been merged. So if you notice down here, I can click travel form and it will put me in flight form and it will change based on the medium so if I'm in water it will put me in aquatic form if I'm in a non-flying zone it will put me in cheetah form and as you can see here in a flying zone it puts me in a flight form it just changes it based on the area that you're in and it's a quick and easy way to get rid of two buttons honestly you shouldn't notice too much of a change there the third thing that received the button bloat treatment was pounce and ravage I'm going to come up here and I'm going to use Rake on this target and you will notice that the Pounce stun is effective on the target. They have baked everything related to Pounce into Rake as long as you're opening from Prowl. The same thing can be said about Shred. Shred now takes the place of everything that Ravage did when coming out of Stealth. So they basically just took those two abilities and merge them into shred and rake and it's an easy way to just get rid of two more abilities now as far as quality of life improvements to the class druids have received two major ones shred is now your main combo point builder and as you notice i am sitting here and i am attacking from every direction and i can use shred from every direction they have removed facing requirements across the board for Druids. No longer do you have to be behind the target to get a shred off. This is a huge change and a huge plus, especially for PvPers. And considering that shred is now the main combo point builder, it's probably something that they had to do anyways. Now, the second quality of life improvement is if you look in the top left corner, you will notice that I have five combo points on this target. If I switch over to the right target, I still have those combo points and can use them. That is a huge change. They now have combo points on the player as opposed to the target. So you can sit there, you can build up combo points on you know, some weak target in a battleground, and then you can hot switch to the healer and open up on them with a huge combo point, five combo points. So that's a huge change, it's really nice and I think it'll make you know playing a druid a lot more enjoyable a lot more fun I guess you could say a feral druid that is now feral druids lost a few abilities they lost hibernate they lost innervate and they lost nature's grasp that's druids as a whole and then feral specifically lost tranquility lacerate maul barkskin and might of ursoc those have all been removed there are three changed abilities to druids. One is Shred. Shred is the only one now that applies the Infected Wounds debuff. Infected Wounds used to be able to be applied by several different abilities. Now it is only applied by Shred. And that's due to the fact that casters have lost their mobility and they kind of had to scale back on how much snaring that melee has been able to that melee will be able to do in PvP. The second change is Survival Instincts and Feral now has two charges for Survival Instincts. This was brought in to compensate for the fact that Symbiosis is gone and that was a you know a defensive place for Druids to get a I mean it was a place for Druids to get a defensive ability and now that it's gone so they just replaced it by giving Survival Instincts two charges. The other huge change to an ability is if I look in my ability bar here you'll see that I have mangle still but it says requires bear form mangle has been removed from the cat form rotation feral can still use it so long as they're in bear form 
but the cat rotation no longer has Mangle. That is why I've been telling you that Shred is now the main combo point builder for the Feral rotation. Now, those are the main ability changes. Looking into the Glyph changes for Druids, there are five total. Going through them, Mame is a new Glyph that increases the damage done by your Mame by 100%. There is a new one known as Glyph of Ninth Life, which reduces all damage taken while in cat form by 10%. As you can see right there, it says exclusive with Glyph of Cat Form. That basically means that you cannot use Cat Form and Glyph of Ninth Life both in the same. You can only choose one or the other. So you can't stack all of these Cat Form Glyphs together, etc. A change was made to Glyph of Rake, which basically now has the effects of Prowl on there. Increases the range of your Rake by 8 yards while Prowl is active. So they, they put that Pounce bit in there. Uh, that used to be in a Pounce Glyph, I believe. And then probably the biggest change to any Glyph is Glyph of Savage Roar. Glyph of Savage Roar used to give you a 0 combo point 12 second Savage Roar. Well now, when you open with Rake or Shred, so your new stealth openers, you are given a free 5 combo point Savage Roar, so 42 seconds of Savage Roar. This is awesome. I don't see why Feral Druids will not be taking this. There is a talent that may cause them to not take this, but it's really a great glyph to have. The last new glyph is going to be Ursol's Defense, Glyph of Ursol's Defense, and that is increases the armor of bear form by an additional 210%. So it gives ferals another, you know, defensive outlet to use if they need to, if you want to go ahead and grab that glyph. Currently in game, there is no spot for Draenor perks. They have not given a place for to list off Draenor perks, so I'll have to tell you them here. Draenor perks are the kind of buffs to your abilities that you get leveling from level 90 all the way to level 99. I'm going to skip over the ones that are just flat damage increase and just tell you the interesting ones. So we have Enhanced Berserk, which your maximum energy is increased by 50 while Berserk is active. Enhanced Cat Form, your movement speed in Cat Form is increased by an additional 5%. Enhanced Tiger's Fury, which increases your duration of Tiger's Fury by 2 seconds. Enhanced Prowl, which removes the movement speed penalty from Prowl. There's Improved Rake, which your Rake deals 100% additional damage when used while stealthed. So it's like your Pounce dealing 100% additional damage. And then the last and probably the best one in my opinion is Enhanced Rejuvenation. And that is you can cast Rejuvenation while in Bear or Cat form. This is absolutely awesome. I love this. Uh, something that melee don't have is that they can constant feral druids can constantly cast hots on themselves. That it's just something that other melee don't have is really cool. I mean, the the closest thing that you can get to it that I can think of has got to be uh, either maelstrom enhancement shamans or windwalker monks with their you know chi wave etc. But that's a pretty cool change right there, and I I love that change that they brought to the uh, feral druid class. Last but not least, there is the new talents that have been brought to Druids. Starting from the right side here, there is Savagery, which is Savage Roar is passive and increases all physical damage dealt by 45%. That is 5% more than the base Savage Roar. From everything I've heard, PvEers are taking this ability, mostly because they don't like the other two but it also removes a button that they don't need to. It's, they, it removes complexity that they don't need into the class. So I am personally really, really want to take this ability because I hate Savage Roar with a passion, but I don't know considering the one on the far left, Lunar Inspiration, which we'll get to in a second. The middle one here is Blood Talons, which casting Healing Touch causes your next two melee abilities to deal 30% additional damage. That's... I honestly don't know how that's going to work out and how that's going to be used. I haven't heard or seen much talk about it of anyone using it or it being used in PvE or PvP, so we'll see. The last one is Lunar Inspiration, which allows your Moonfire to be usable in cat form. It generates one combo point 
deals damage based on attack power and costs 30 energy. Personally, I feel this is the best option for a PvP druid because it gives you that ability to continually generate combo points when you find yourself out of range of the target you were trying to focus. You're able to continue to, you know, keep building combo points on them. So I can sit here from a distance and yeah, Moonfire isn't going to do as much damage as Shred, but I'm at least able to build up those combo points so that when I get up close, I can use my five point combos right off the bat. I personally think that will be really beneficial. It, you, I don't think it will be used for the dot necessarily. It's mainly going to be used for building combo points when out of range. You know, your wild charge is down and you can't quite catch up to the target. That's kind of something where you can kill, build your combo points up and, you know, stay in the game, so to say. So, those are the glyphs that are coming out. I'm kind of partial towards either Lunar Inspiration or Savagery. I kind of like Lunar Inspiration. Overall, as a class, Feral doesn't feel like it's changed too much. Shred is now the main combo point builder. There's some quality of life improvements, but otherwise, you shouldn't feel too much of a change from what Feral is on live today. So, with that being said, that's everything that is new to Feral Druids in Warlords of Draenor. My next video will be on Balanced Druids. And I apologize, that video will be probably pretty long because balancers have been literally blown up. So, with that being said, this is Tearless. This was another Warlords of Draenor beta video, and I will see you guys later. Tearless out.